My name is Hamid Farahani. I'm a researcher from the Department of Microsystems Engineering of University of Freiburg. Today, as a corresponding author, I present the current work entitled Humidity Sensing Characteristics and Transaction Mechanism of uh, MGO Ions Added to Barium Santium Titanium Oxide Perovskites. As a part of IT Pelly Sensors 2021 conference. So the study starts with the humidity sensing investigation of the porous barium estrantium, barium estrantium titanium oxide perovskites and addition of the magnesium oxide with one, three, and five mole percentage concentration on the resistive type humidity sensors. Following this, uh, the humidity sensing mechanism of the main materials as a barium estonium titanium oxide transducers also investigated by electrochemical impedance spectroscopy technique. So the metal oxides, uh, ceramics, are the most suitable materials for the humidity sensing applications due to some features such as high surface area, controllable porous muscle structures, also a stable physical conditions. So that's why we choose ceramic materials. So in the first part, we synthesize the main perovskites from the precursors through the solid SAT action method. And then thick film sensors were fabricated based on the synthesized materials using the skin printing te technique uh, by layer by layer deposition. So the first layer of the sensor can be seen here as a platinum electrodes. Uh, here the second deposited layers and one of the sensors after wire bonding uh, and before testing. So due to size difference in, in the particle size of the main perovskite and magnesium oxide, we had a particle size reduction per nanocomposite. So as we see in the table one, so the particle size of the nanocomposite were reduced by addition of the magnesium dopants, about one to two nanometers per doping. So then here we see the SEM photos of the surface of the materials. The grain size were grown uh, by addition of the magnesium. The, the, the increase was about five nanometers uh, per doping. So here we see the Raman spectra of the four different nanocomposites. Uh, also following that, we got the XPS, uh, from the materials. So the experimental electrical results showed uh, the addition of the magnesium to the main perovskite uh, just uh, reduced the total impedance change of the sensors. Um, for the sample with one mole percentage and uh, five mole percentage MGO, and for the sample with three mole percentage, we have destroyed uh, linearity. And for the hysteresis measurement, we compared the samples in figure four B and C. So measurement of the hysteresis showed uh, the best and most narrow loop is belonging to the uh, main material as a BST with less than 5% of the uh, hysteresis in relative humidity. So as uh, the second phase or second goal of the research, we investigated the impedance per, uh, per properties of the materials or electrochemical method. So at different humidity levels, we see uh, we have different uh, fitting circuits. 
So if we focus on the 80 percentage, uh, at 80 percentage, the equivalence, equivalent circuit is fitting with warwood. But passing this humidity, going higher humidity, about 83 percentage to 95, uh, the a war book is modeled, changed to Gerischer element. Uh, the presence of the Gerischer is related to the uh, coupling of the uh, one or many uh, chemical reactions to the redox activities. So in the second part, we obtain the response time and length SVD of the main material, BST sensors. And uh, here in the figure seven, we see the model, provided model for the humidity absorption and proton transfer over the surface of the uh, sensors of BPST and also when the MGO nanoparticles are present. So as a conclusion, uh, we found that the main protonic carriers of the surface are hydrogen ions and hydronium ions. So which hydronium ions are diffused to the electrode uh, for the humidity higher than about uh, 80 percentage. So the addition of the magnesium nanoparticles on the BSC sensors had not uh, any significant uh, outcome and only influenced the impedance uh, so also the surface of the materials were influenced by the MGO nanoparticles. And thank you for watching my presentation.